change this. Oh man, I've been waiting to play this. Wow, thanks OBS for not fucking showing anything ever. Great. Do I have to? Thank you, OBS. Very cool. Stellaris. There. There we go. I have to go do that manually for every game because I can't do full screen. So because I need to go like change between monitors and stuff. Anyway. Oh, man. Good to be back with this game. Or that back with this game. Good to be finally playing this game. I bought this game on Black Friday and I didn't want to touch it because I kind of wanted to stream it. This game I love. And the OST I've loved. I've never played the game itself. I love its soundtrack, though. I listen to the soundtrack regularly. It's amazing. The, the theme. Da, 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 da. <coughs> oh, my throat. Will go. Da, 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 da. Anyway, welcome to Stellaris, made by Comrades at Paradox Interactive Studios. I've never read the Paradox game, but I love them, because I also play Hearts of Iron 4. And I love Hearts of Iron 4, even though I'm incredibly bad at it. I also love the OST of Hearts of Iron. Okay. They're both, uh, this is a strategy space game, which I have also played on this channel. I played uh, Endless Space, played Endless Space 2 a long time ago. They're both kind of in the same ballpark in the genre department. Because they're both, I believe, Stellaris is turn-based. And they're both in space, and they both have to do with strategy. That's all I know about it. I know you can create, like, all sorts of, like, empires, the species, and ships, and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to hop straight into it. I know about nothing. Oh, here we go. The United Nations of Earth, representative of democracy, the beacon... The beacon... Yeah, the beacon of liberty... Plus 15%. Oh, unity. Oh, boy. Uh, idealistic foundation. Citizen population. Have a xenophile. So, increased opinion of other species. Cannot use the no refugees policy. Cannot enslave and cannot displace. And fanatic egalitarian. Beware always those who would be despots. Under false presumption that their desires and agendas are somehow more imperative than those of the fellow... Of their fellows. A society that does not see the needs and the rights of all of its members is not a society. It is a crime. So plus 10% special I don't know what any of this crap means. A humanoid. Wasteful, nomadic, <laughs> and adaptive. Wow. Not bad. Okay. The Commonwealth of Man. Xenophobe and a fanatic militarist. Nationalist zeal. Distinguished Admiralty. Zin Empire. Decident. And quarrelsome. Rapid Raiders, resilient and strong. Police State, Slavers Guild, authoritarian. Oh my god, this is really complex. Pacifist, spiritualist, egalitarian, shadow council, and the corporate dominion. Oh, fun! We're dominated by a mega corporation. Thrifty, communal, and deviance. Lovely. Citizen statistocracy. I know, yeah, you can edit them. Yeah, you can even create your own race. Anyway, I'm going to be simple, and I'm going to go with the United Nations. I'm going to go, yeah. Medium. I don't want to, like, really change this. Except the difficulty. A cadet. A Commodore, Grand Admiral. I'm going to go with cadet. I think... Cadet sounds the easiest. Iron Man mode, yeah. Iron Man mode, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For those, yeah. For those who don't know, in Paradox games, if you go, yeah, Iron Man mode, it will, yeah. Console cheats are disabled, and the game automatically saves. So the moment I exit that, it will save. So, because they have the same thing in Hearts of Iron. It's difficult. To, here we go. Yeah. Cadet is the easiest. Grand Admiral is hardest. Gotcha. Yeah. Good. Because that, that's what I want. Because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. See how this see how this goes. I don't want I don't want to spend too much time going through the species, I want to go straight into the game. Alright, here we go. Much has happened since modern human 
Modern humans first emerged in Africa some 200,000 years ago. Our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe, and soon the first civilizations took form. Scientific process progress has been swift, through not without cost. Wars claimed millions of lives even before the atom was tamed, and the turmoil of the 21st century saw the mandate of the United Nations grandu gradually expand in an effort to create stability. By the early 22nd century, the supranational organization had become the de facto world government. Through some of the recent, through some still resent the power wielded by the United Nations, the evidence during the Maritunian police action of 2288, 2388, uh, what year are we on? Or do you 22? Okay, so 2188. The Mauritanian police action of 2188, few can deny the technological breakthroughs that have come out in its sponsored research programs. With the recent completion of the first true starship, mankind is about to embark on a new era of space exploration. Yay, humanity actually doing something good! Ethics. Yeah, egalitarian. Xenophile because of liberty. Capital. Earth. The day, Madam oh, President. Geez. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. My job is to offer advice and assistance as we seek our destiny among the stars. That is stupidly loud. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the music down. I love the music, but I'm gonna have to turn everything down. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, uh full tutorial. An please. excellent decision. You will have my full support. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. Cool. The first wish is to fully survey a neighboring star system. I have added it as an entry to the situation log. Access it, click on the situation log button in the left section of the top bar. Left, oh, this, this bar? Okay. Whoa, species claim. Claims? Fleet manager. Oh my god, I'm gonna have fun with this game. Edicts, policies, expansion plan. Expansion plan. Oh, Christ. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Gotcha. Soul Station, Shipyard, the First Fleet, the Construction Ship, the UNS Orinoco, and the UNS Parathes. Science Ship, Construction Ship, Earth Empire Capital, Energy Economics. President Mur Mwanga? Yeah, President Mwanga was elected on the platform on bringing our monthly energy credit surplus to at least plus 20 a month. Uh, six months worth of unity, a maximum of 1,000, so you need to bring this up to like two. We need to explore our neighboring star system. To do this, select our science ship, or by clicking the ship itself. So it's this is our science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. Cool. Our own system has already been surveyed, so we should focus our efforts elsewhere. With the science ship selected, open the galaxy map, right click the star neighboring our home system, and select survey system. The ship will now travel to the system and survey all of its planetary bodies. Gotcha. Uh, which one's map? The no, government no. screen government. presents oh. us with information regarding our empire and its government. Here we can see our ruler and any related effects. President Mwanga. Warlike. Explore. <laughs> Lovely. Election. Oh, when's the next election? Elections are every decade. Jesus. Reform government. Oh my god. This game's the demographics now. tab attracts the makeup and spread of our empire's populace. Cool. Cool. So, okay, here we go. Let's go. M. Gotcha. So, on there. What do here? Survey the system. Are you going now? No, you're paused. What do you pause? Space, gotcha. Oh, yeah, the nice thing. Oh, yeah, the nice thing about uh, Paradox Games. You can control the to music. To overcome the vast distances that separate star it's amazing. systems, 
Our scientists have developed the hyperdrive. This device permits travel at speeds far exceeding that of light between systems connected by hyperlanes. So we get these things. Yeah. Travel along the hyperlane is extremely fast, but interstellar movement is restricted along the paths of the galactic hyperlane network. Safely entering hyperspace is only possible at the edge of a system, beyond the stabilizing effects of the star's gravity well. Gotcha. Where's... Okay, that's my bastard. I think about two, one, zero. Pew! Wallace. Intel level. Hi. Oh, that's neat. Okay. So, yeah. Back to Seoul. Unknown, unknown. Wallace, unknown, unknown. Cool. I want to look at these other tabs. The technology it's screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields with each field typically having three available research options. I go research technologies even without without assigning a scientist to the relevant field. But this will take significantly longer and is generally not recommended. Gotcha. Okay, so we have physics, society, and engineering. So improved deflectors, global energy management, or fusion power. This will lead to further advancements in several different fields. I'm gonna go with global energy management. That looks important. Eco simulation, biodiversity studies, and off world trading companies. That looks really good. Statecraft, biology, the science of life and its complexities. Statecraft, the art of building a successful society. I'm going to go with eco simulation, because that also sounds important. You can't have another colony if you don't have food to feed said colony. Afterburners, study of propulsion and trajectory, propulsion, study of propulsion, trajectory, industry, and industry. Uh, engineering research from researchers plus 20%, mining, so it's a look, but after, I'm going to go with nanomechanics. I don't know what I'm really researching, I have no clue. Oh, these are my resources. Energy, minerals, food, consumer goods, alloys, influence, unity, and along with physics research, about empire size. With our empire size is lower than our administrative cap, we lower than our administrative cap, we do not suffer any penalties. It's a measure of territorial expense in your empire in the form of controlled systems, colonies, and districts. A high empire size is a strain on your empire's administrative capacity and will increase the cost of technology, traditions, and leaders and campaigns. Uh, empire systems, empire colonies population, service capacity, and naval capacity. Gotcha. Here, the edicts. empire-wide edicts, practices that can be enforced by spending some of our resources, can be enacted. Ah. So encourage political thought. Our temporary empire edicts or temporary empire-wide modifiers can be activated spending resources such as influence or credits. This edict pushes to further galactic exploration to bring, bring light into darkness and find the witness and lie. Yeah, this I will assign. Encourages the populace to openly discuss political matters, even if the path may lead to dis lead them astray. Volatile land clearance. Using volatile boats for their express capabilities, we are able to clear difficult terrain at a much faster rate. Employ rare crystals to boost our sensors. Exotic gases as fuel. Crystals are okay. cool, 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 cool. The policies. policies tab covers government policies, which have wide-ranging effects on how our empire is run. There are often a few possible stances to be take, to take for any given policy, though we may be limited by technology as well as our ethos. Oh. First contact protocol, resettlement, or bombardment. War philosophy, initial border status. Whoa, food policy, economic trade. Oh my god, so many things. Purge, slavery, population control. Oh my god, <laughs> so many policies you can have on things. This game is so complex, I love it. Uh, how long is it going to take to get through this? Yeah, I know you're moving, Sherlock, but how long is it going to take you to move? Recipe, okay, plus. 
Uh, okay, so I can't really use, uh, that, because if I press minus, uh, I will be, oh, end the stream, because that's the, my hotkey to end streams, so I may have to go change that. Well done. The first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. Cool. We may want to consider building a second science ship. This would double the speed at which we can survey our galactic neighborhood. Now that we have begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. A starbase can be built around stars and surveyed systems to expand our borders, allowing us to claim new regions of space. Ah. With future technology, starbases can be upgraded to produce ships or other resources. For now, their main benefit lies in extending our borders. When we claim a system with a starbase, we can build research and mining stations to exploit its resources or colonize any habitable world. Ah, so you can have it as an outpost or a colony. Okay, that's cool. As other games I've played of this, I'm mostly just referring to Endless Space, because Endless Space is the closest thing I have to playing a game like this. It's, you claim it, it's a colony, and it gives you resources, that's it. But here you can pick, whether it's pure outpost or whether it's colony. That's cool. It's very cool. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get... Parathes. Parathes to go survey this system. This so is ship our system okay. star base. These upgradable stations marks. Oh, no, I didn't want to interrupt you. This is our system survey. Uh, uh, Mark star system ownership and are often tasked with producing all types of ships. They can be specialized with a variety of functions through modules and buildings. And they tend to be the last line of defense against enemy fleets when in the system. We expand our borders by building star bases in nearby systems, and enemy star bases can be captured by attacking them. Once we colonize more planets, we can manage our trade routes via star base interfaces as well. Cool. Ah. So building crew quarter. Okay, so. Military fleets are used to protect our oh. emerging empire from threats, oh, they mean click or to okay. expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. Our current navy size is limited, but it can be increased by researching new technologies, owning additional pops, and by building star base anchorages. No admiral has been assigned to our starting fleet, so if we get so if we have the energy credits to spare any, we may wish to recruit one. Oh, assign the leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. Cool. So we can can we recruit one? Ah. Oh, they have age. Death. Oh my God, your guys actually died, and you have to replace them. That is so cool. I mean, it's sad that they died and all, but that is that is a really cool concept. Hey, welcome back, one eye. How was the cruise, mate? This leader refuses to even consider the possibility of retreat when battle has been joined, preferring instead to fight to the death. Gale speed and resilient. System survey complete. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna recruit this admiral. This is admiral I like. I like. That'd be a good admiral to have in the home system. Go to disband fleet manager. Split fleet, transfer, reinforce, upgrade. Oh, reinforce. Oh, that's cool. This is so cool. This, this, this is so amazing to me. This is like the game I've always asked for. I, I, I originally was a bit wary about buying this game, especially as I loved the soundtrack because I thought this game would be too complex. Grows, trade oh. between our planets will become an increasingly large part of our economy. Star bases with trade hubs collect trade value within their system to be routed to the capital for conversion to energy credits. Oh. Building trade hubs means the star base can collect trade value from adjacent systems as well. Rich trade routes may attract pirates, though they can be countered by fleets on patrol, and by defense modules on star bases, hangar modules, and are particularly effective for this. Gotcha. Yeah, 
it. But anyway, as I was saying, I was a bit worried about buying this game because I thought it'd be too complex. Or just like to be like too hard for me or something. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go buy it anyway. This game is sounds really complex. Busy governing the Earth sector. Oh, governor. Oh, so I have a governor for this system. Governor Stackhouse has leveled up. Oh, okay. Dismiss. Okay. Uh, so. Downgrade. Back to an outpost. Why the hell would I want to do that? Okay, defense. Shipyard. Here we go. That's where I want. Uh, construction. The first fleet. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, this is another science ship. Oh, those. Okay, those build within a minute. Oh, so this game isn't turn-based. Okay, so it's real time. I, I I don't know why. I just noticed that. Dumb. That might also be a good idea to build. A shipyard. A shipyard may build one ship at a time in double parallel with the science ships. Means double the fun. Oh, <laughs> I haven't been this excited since we completed the last assignment. <laughs> I haven't been this excited since you've actually done something. Congratulations. We have a brand new science ship, but no scientist has been assigned to command it. My programming insists that I should point out the benefits of adding an organic scientist component to the mix. If you if we cannot afford to recruit a new scientist, we can always reassign one from another department, even though it is hardly ideal. Uh, the UNS Columbus. Construction complete. Oh, there are plenty. Busy leading, busy leading, busy leading. Okay, uh, survey speed fast. Fast. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna recruit you here fast. You're a bit old. You're older. Good. The scientist but, has assumed command of our new science ship and can now be sent off at our leisure to explore new systems and or meet some grisly fate. <laughs> I've already, I've already enjoyed my time. I was originally gonna, I was originally gonna actually stream Stardew Valley, so I can get the spring already. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna go start Stellaris. I'm gonna start Stellaris because I did write a, I was gonna start Stellaris eventually within the month, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start it today. Why? Because I want to. That and because I started the stream late and that, yeah, a late dangerous kept me really occupied and the, the mission was time sensitive. Sorry. Uh, trade hub. So, Anchorage, a gun battery, and a missile battery. So, shipyard. Okay. We have the ability to manually design new ships in the ship designer screen. This is a fairly straightforward process, though one that can be fully automated if we so wish. Why? Why would you automate such a thing? <laughs> Like, I, I've, I, I don't know why would you do such a thing, but okay. Uh, go down. Oh, this is binary. Eh, sure. Why not? More in the merrier. Yeah, you're done over here. What would you get over here? Chort? Look at the chort. Environmental hazard. Shield notification 100%. Environmental effects and hazards affect all the fleets inside the system. They're usually caused by the system's star or due to it being inside a nebula. Can we colonize? These are gas giants. That's a baron. It's a tomb world, so I'm assuming no, we cannot colonize. We currently cannot colonize this world. We can only colonize worlds inside our borders. Construction complete. Uh okay, cool. Uh I'm gonna go back back out. Uh the Pyrenees, I'm gonna send you over to also to here. There. What's a construction this ship? This is our construction there. ship, yeah. which is used to construct space stations. Ah. When an astronomical object such as a planet has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. These ships are also used to build star bases in unclaimed systems, making them critical to our expansion plots. Okay, good. So that's about us. Wait, don't you need the star base first? Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. 
Uh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so get out of chore and back to soul. Actually, no. I'm gonna go look at Willy Alias. Willy Alias doesn't seem very. Yeah, it doesn't seem very strategic. System survey complete. Uh. There's minerals here. So, I mean, I guess we can go send our first guy here. Eh. It's my first time playing this game, so yeah, I can cut myself some slack here. Build a star base. And go tell me how that goes. Meanwhile, back in Seoul. The traditions. tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Adopting a tradition tree or unlocking a specific tradition costs a certain amount of unity, and the price goes up as we unlock traditions and our, our empire grows. So expansion. We must expand our civilization to new systems and planets or risk eventual extinction. Pyrochrone 1, strategic research discovered. The UNS Pyrene Pyrethes has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource in the prior zone 1, dubbed Volatile Motes. These premature particles contain a tremendous amount of energy, which can be used to exploit it in energy production as fuel or even explosives. As we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for further exploitation. Of course. If we do not impose our will on others, they will inevitably impose theirs on us. There is no better indicator for success or failure of Star Nation than the strength of its economy. Few things are master strength content and populace. The future of the galaxy belongs to those who are strong enough to seize it. As our science ship scans the surface of Pyrocene 2, it is quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. The planet is being harrowed by constant meteorite showers, bombarding its surface with enormous projectiles. We will surely come across it even more irregularities with this as we survey new planets and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. The discovery of alien life! The Pyrethes has made a startling find on Pyrosan 2. The planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in our history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Earth. This amazing discovery has been silenced to those who, have, who, who believe we were alone in this universe. Although none of the alien creatures have found Pyrocene 2 sapient, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter those that are. Also, they are sentient. Or, or actually, they're just small, inferior life forms. Gotcha. Uh, impressive structures litter a small area of the surface on Pyrocene 2, practically begging for some archaeological work. Uh, research it! Research it! Research it, you bastards. I hired you for a reason. Uh, curiosity. I'm gonna go adopt expansion. Reach for the stars. The frontier, uh, this starbase influence cost was 50%. Colonization fever. One new colony starts with one additional pop. I'm gonna adopt that. That sounds good. That sounds good for us. Now what policy? So I want to do... Well, war is a complex matter. War between stellar nations even more so. How we approach armed conflicts is of critical importance to our external affairs. Liberation wars. Unrestricted wars. Wars dish best so frequently into those who will not cook for themselves. Claiming others as systems will allow... Is only allowed during defensive wars and against just stealth consciousness empires. We f must further our own interests even when they, when they run contrary to the interests of others. Violence is the last resort to ensure the integrity of our nation. Orbital bombardment. Keeping civilian casualties to a minimum. Resettlement is prohibited. First contact protocol should be peaceful. Initial border status. The boards of the, ga the Empire represent our very grasp of the galaxy itself. We must decide if they are to be open or unwelcoming or shut and guarded to other civilizations we might encounter. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm gonna change the. I'm gonna emphasize the, on the change the, the. The title of the stream to a noobs playthrough. To emphasize that I'm a noob, so I won't get yelled at. But someone's like, "Hey, you're so bad at this game." It's like, no, really. That 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 would be really slow, and I'm gonna be reading everything. 
Uh, we've also decided to be overwoke. So closed. Or should be closed to other impacts. By default, dietary balance, mixed economy. The civilian, yeah. Trade policy, wealth creation, consumer benefits, marketplace of ideas. Robotic refugees, refugees. Welcome, citizen species only. No refugees, citizen species only. We cannot allow compassion to overpower good sense. Only those who would have worthwhile additions to society should be brought in. Refugees from citizen species with full citizenship may arrive from other empires. Slavery prohibited. Purge prohibited. Okay, I'm not going to change any of those. I might want to change the refugee policy. Changing the refugee um, policy sounds like a good idea, but... It doesn't sound like a terrible idea, but... Eh. In the expansion plan, was... we find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. We can build colony ships and issue them orders directly from this screen. Really? I can't... I cannot colonize. I can't even colonize Mars. Oh, yeah, so in this universe, you can't colonize Mars. Terraforming cabinet. Although barren and devoid of life, this planet has water frozen. Frozen forms may once have been home to a thriving ecosystem, but the right technology can be terraformed. Planet has an anomaly. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I t yeah I told you to research that, and you are going to research. Wait, what's this down here? Oh, this is the select stuff. Gotcha. The United Nations is abuzz with the news of the alien organisms discovered by the Parathy some time ago. These little evolutionary marvels kindle in the human people a renewed hope for first contact with intelligent beings. <sighs> Parsecs. Well, it is a binary. You bastards don't provide anything. I'm wondering how colonization works. Because colonization sounds like you don't need to colonize for, like... Because my mentality was, okay, you colonize this if... Yeah, you colonize this if it has resources on it and if it will benefit you. But then I'm fighting these systems like Parasites, which only give me like a few signs. And this, which only give me like, yeah, this moat stuff. Yeah, Pyrocene, I might want to... Yeah, Pyrocene, I'm definitely going to be... Research complete. Oh, cool. Uh, Oldlock farming subsidies, cool. Uh, genome mapping. Planetary unification. Hydroponics farming. Hydroponics doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, this is yeah, this is gonna be up next, about four months. Yeah, I'm gonna go yeah, once I get Pyrosun. Pyrosine, I thought it was Pyrosine, Pyrosun. I'm probably mispronouncing all of them. A good portion of these names. Yeah. Once this gets fully served, I'm gonna go send out another construction ship over there. The structures on Pyrosone 2 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or a amusement park of some sort. Science officer Dan Liu notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from. To the builder's alien, to the builder's alien, alien eyes, this might be a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless to us humans, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. Interesting. Have I just not been fully surveyed? As of, but okay, you guys are surveying it. Should come on. There we go. Intelligent life taunts with pointed absence. Reads a popular news net post on Earth. People of the United Nations are apparently finding some humor in the fact that the lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record. But potential equals. From other stars continue to elude us. Science officer Dan Liu's report on traces found of Pyrosome 2 seems only added an ironic twist to the situation. Interesting. So we're surveying Research complete. Planets, okay, cool. 
Uh, basic strike craft. Civilian fabricators. Basic strike craft doesn't sound like a bad idea. These manned strike craft are launched from the mothership and rely on their speed and small size to survive long enough to punch through enemy defenses. Oh my god, I, I, I'm curious to see how combat in this game works. Oh, Jesus. This game looks terrifying. It's terrifyingly large. I'm gonna go commission another... Another ship. Yeah, of course we're select humans. Why wouldn't I? A Corvette. System survey complete. System survey. Thank you. Oh, I can't add anything up. Oh. Oh. Oh, these are modules. I can change them out whenever I want to. Oh, okay. Cool. Upgrade. Oh, that's how you upgrade. Lacking 106 of these bad boys. Pirate Stone has been fully surveyed. Yeah, now I need to wait for the construction ship to come up. Yeah. Uh, the UNS Armstrong. Uh, give me another one of these bastards. Uh, none of you are particularly good for this task. Research survey, research anomaly, fleet stance. Okay, cool. Uh, UNS, yeah, UNS Armstrong is gonna go survey. This is complete. Okay, cool. Uh, where? Where's my construction ship? <laughs> Done any moment now. Colony ship. And the other construction ship too. Leader President Buwanga has leveled up. Cool. Mm I didn't notice these down here. Political unions such as subjects and federations will share the same color of the map, Galaxy. Oh, so these are the map modes. Help, multiplayer chat, search, go to. Oh, oh so this is go to. Okay, so back to the home system. So that's backspace. Detail. No, that's gonna be too complex for me. What are these? Military power. Military power is an estimated complex. Oh, this is the fleet. Oh, these are ships. Mercury. Mars. Earth. Oh, geo. Wow, really? Summary <laughs> screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. We can see the total number of districts in this planet can support how many pups are living in it and how much food and other resources it produces and consumes. Anomaly found. We could also see if the planet is suffering from low stability and if there is an assigned governor that can be found. A colossal impact crater hints that something big collided with the surface of the planet's core. Anomaly Research. Found. Research it. Capital decisions. Declare martial law. Discourage planetary growth. Distribute luxury goods. Encourage planetary growth. Wow. That's... Here we see a breakdown of this planet's population, divided into layers or strata. Cool. This is where we manage all ground forces on this planet. This screen also tracks how much devastation, 
or damage the planet itself has suffered. Oh my god. General. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid in into a stable orbit around LMR 3A. The massive engine sections and braking thrusters can be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Army morale, army morale. Okay, so this is the general of the planet. Okay, cool. System survey complete. Uh. Yeah, yeah that's not that bad. The Elamar system has been fully surveyed. Three engineering. Build a research station in order to acquire it. system build a thingy there all right did I get my other thingy built in what was it like Willius oh it's been fucking just sitting here Bastard. Should be building. Okay. Uh, zero G Labs, Field Modulation, Administrative AI. A massive crater, a massive crater on LMR3 appears to be the result of a collision with a starship. From the size of the crater, we suspect that the ship exiting a hyperlane at maximum velocity rammed the planet for reasons unknown roughly 10,000 years ago. The UNS Armstrong has picked up residue, residual subspace echoes near the crash site, remnants of the collapse hyper, hyperparticulate field, big words. But as the ship itself disintegrated on impact, the theory cannot be verified. Cool. Nito Burrito. Via the market screen, we can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market. But if enough empires establish contact, I expect they might form some sort of galactic market. Construction complete. Resources can be bought and sold using the appropriate buttons here, but beware that buying and selling the resource will raise or lower the price of the re that resource respectively. Monthly automatic trade deals that can also be set up on the section on the right. Oh, that's cool. Construction complete. We have expanded the empire. Excellent. As you can see on the galaxy map, the borders of our empire have expanded to include the system where we built our new starbase. The campaigning to elect a new president is underway. The results will be announced on April 1st, 2210. Very cool. Okay. Colonize. Ruler elected. President Stockhouse will be ruled, will rule until the next election in 20, 2220. Oh, so, so the governor. The president's reign has come to an end with their election campaign promises unfilled. That's interesting. Okay, so so the governor of Seoul has now is now president. Cool. Baron, Molten, Arctic, can be colonized by us, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, let's go send it. Uh, Procyon Prime. Is 
Is it possible that I can rename systems later on? Because I want to rename them to my to my liking. Oh, I hope so. Ruler elected. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Policy. Yeah, resettlement. Forcibly relocate populations between planets. Environment. Shift of wars. Expansion plan or edicts. Farming subsidies. Capacity overload. It allows short term overloading of the energy grids, letting power plants across the empire run at increased capacity. Last 11 years. The plant uh, infector screen provides an overview of all our colonized worlds. Ah, uh, okay. And their resource output. As our empire grows, it will be automatically organized into sectors, which are vital to administering larger empires. Ah, cool. Okay, so I thought I had to make them. Sectors are given resources and told to automatically build and upgrade buildings and districts on their planets. Ah, that's cool. Cannot create vassal from the core sector. Sector settings. Balance, focus, production, focus, manufacturing, focus, research, focus. Oh, so cool. Yeah, now I need a new governor because our old governor got elected president. Yeah. So, this uh, has a background in landscaping, eventually turning their attention towards larger projects. Uh, strong interest in architecture. Yeah, I'll recruit you. It's new governor. Traditions. The, ba the banner of our great empire will one day be as common as hydrogen throughout the galaxy. Reduced by 20%. Courier network. A network of small courier vessels are a reliable alternative to transporting VIPs or delivering messages that can't be trusted to FDL communications. This will tie our far flung colonies more closely together. Increased by 20. How much is your unity? Only one. Yes, yeah, so that, take that takes a lot of unity. That sounds very useful, though. Domination. So they all cost about 547. Uh, colonizing. Oh yeah, that's right. Some pause. Sure, walk. Can you build? You can build a mining station there, and you can go build your mining station as well. How are the science ships doing? No orders? I'm gonna go fucking research an anomaly or something. I don't fucking know. Don't you have an anomaly? Assist research. Survey. Oh, fucking. Survey that system. We are parsacs, and you also have no orders. You don't have any anomalies. Construction complete. Okay, cool. Uh, survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Earth. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on the habitable, life-bearing worlds. A commendable initiative. Begin the habitable world survey event. The situation chain. log updated. Surveyed worlds sometimes possess unique properties that make them valuable objects of research. These physics, society, or engineering resources can be collected by a research station. My programming strongly compels me to compel you to build one. But keep in mind that research stations can only be built within our borders and have an upkeep cost of energy credits. Ugh. Yeesh. Okay, so alloy metallurgy. Twelve month have a world survey. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Ba ba na. Okay, 
Swanson. Uh, did I don't? Yeah, I have three Swanson. So, so, so Pro, yeah, when the Procyon can go leave to go to the next Congratulations one. on having colonized a new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement. But it will take time for them to become self-sufficient. Gotcha. A colony ship has gently touched down on the snow fields of Procyon Prime. In a deep valley near the equator, the landing site nestled within a large mountain chain is well protected from the elements. The ship is permanently converted into an administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and its reactor core is in the process of being removed, so that may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers. The first human city on an Earth world. Or alien world. Earth? Alien? What? Not gonna research any. I thought there were anomalies. I thought there were still anomalies. Congratulations. Okay. I call this. Yeah. Take time for the research. Yeah. Pressing on Prime. Yeah. Colonizing. Uh, will be done by the year 2214. That's. That's actually really quick. That's only three years. Really three? I thought it would take like fucking 20. Take like 20 or 30. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, who wouldn't? A new faction is recently beginning traction in the internal political landscape of the, of the UN. Led by Dan Liu. They call themselves the Alien Justice Network. Their members have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. A disgruntled faction may be a source of trouble, but one that the proves of the government's actions could prove useful. But I'm already friendly with aliens. It's policy. Anomaly found. Yeah. Research. Oh wait, no, this is the other system. Okay. I guess there's no other. Yeah. Okay. No. So this bastard out. Your survey. Yeah, you have no orders, so I'm gonna go. What other thingy I can tell you to do? Can I can I make any research? Any observe observational? Oh, that's what observations are. But inhabited by primitive around planets and inha inhabited by primitive civilization studies civilizations. Sure, why not? Another mining. Another mining outpost, and then I can go move you on to the next system. Which is probably going to move you on to Elamir. Uh, the president has leveled up. Yeah, you're already researching that. Yeah, you're also researching that. Okay, cool. I don't really care that. Soul! 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 Can you go make me another construction ship, please? Another colony ship? Please? Thanks. Cool. Cool. Any trade routes? No, of course not. Why would there be trade routes? What's a trade route? Never heard of it. <laughs> A large mineral rich asteroid collided with it with Romanov four or Romston four A at some point during the previous the previous yeah during the previous millennia in which what must have been a major impact event. An abundance of minerals can now be found on the moon within the vicinity of the impact crater. Cool. Utterly fascinating. So, I still only have one sector. Okay. Uh, led by SAR, they call themselves the Full Enfranchisement Network. Their members work for equality and justice to all denizens of our empire. How do I check these factions? I check them in government? Construction complete. Form government. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh, so it's okay. So it's led by my engineering guy. 
candidate support urbanizer was elected on the platform of expanding human urban centers only by constructing at least two additional city districts. A mandate is an issue the candidate feels strongly about and the promises to address if elected ruler. If the issue remains when the term ends, voters will likely support another candidate in the next election. Ah, the map to Star's edict is affecting, affecting our empire has expired. 67% in, yeah, okay, so you're an independent. So what are my bastards maybe? was elected on the platform of bringing our monthly alloy surplus to at least 12 a month. How much time do I have left? Uh, 21, uh, 22, 11. Okay, yeah. The elections... I like how the elections are every decade. So it's a nice and easy number to remember. I don't have the... Po I don't have the political... I don't have the influence. It represents political clout and use for many things like enacting crazy. edicts, making claims, and building outposts. Dealing with factions. The gain rate remains fairly constant throughout the game, but can be increased by winning the support of factions on our empire, or declaring other empires your rifles. Ish. Ouch. Has been fully surveyed. Really? Already? Euron Tok B is uninhabited. It is indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall cenotaphs, carved with some mineral not native to the planet. Evidently placed here by some artists, artistically inclined space-faring race. The bottomless flowing lines definitely chart a history so fantastical, it must surely be fictional. Surely. Image done for the archives. Research complete. Okay. Food processing facilities. Unlocks clearing those thing those thingies. We go straight for that. Jeez, I've researched a lot. Oh, physics. Hearing. I have fucking researched a butt ton of crap. Okay. Meanwhile in Seoul. Uh, yeah, meanwhile. Procyon. I think Procyon's done with all of its stuff. Yeah, I can't really build anything anymore. There, so. I'll tell you to build. We have recovered artifacts from the ancient civilization. Alien, ancient alien civilization on Euron Talkon 1. Our scientists believe they inhabited the region of the stars roughly 6 million years ago based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves the Yut and appear to have been very large and in flat arthropod analogs. It seems a single individual could reach the length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Yuts to travel aboard the same situation. Situation log updated. Jesus. Construction cool, complete. Uh, that fleet. Yeah, so another colony ship is rise. So Chort doesn't seem like a bad system to have within our. It is a tomb world. Yeah, but Chort three is potentially habitable. Oh, so, so it's cool stuff. And you know, why not? Why not inhabit everything? I don't see why not. Got to expand our borders. Anomaly found. And the Romson system routine is not bad then. Yeah, go fucking do it then. Go do it then. You bastard. There are. Research complete. Oh, okay. Well, those guys are being sent out. You guys are just sitting in Seoul doing nothing? Erebor. Oh, Therabor. You guys are already done? Okay, well. Trinary star system. Well, have fun. Uh, engineering stuff is done. Go after that. That's it. Yeah. I'm just going with whatever sounds important. I'm not sure if it actually is important, but it sounds important, therefore it is. 
under my eyes. Uh, Willius, uh, Willius has built the starbase here. Construction complete. Nothing is habitable here. Okay, so this is going to remain an outpost. Uh, the UNS Sahara. Okay, a lot. Okay, a lot of stuff is happening. Like way too fast. Science officer Saleta reports that luminous waves coursing through ice that blankets robot of, that robot stone six is of alien origin. Sub ancient battle has deposited scattered wreckage of an alien fighter on the frozen planet, and the only and only the exposed core to its to its main weapon remains intact. It seems this alien race uses lasers somewhat more advanced than the ones currently used by human fleets. And the fizzling innards periodically discharge low-powered lasers in the ice of Rom Rom 6A. The planet the planet's harsh climate to prevent the lasers from actually melting the ice, allowing the chili matrix to act as a brilliant prism. Use the technology. Research complete. Use it. Okay, yeah, the, the, the game the game's going a bit too fast for me, so I need to go pause it. So, Elamir. So you're done with your crap in Elamir. So you constructed the base. Construct a miner. Where's Elamir? It is it? It's not habitable. Chore. Okay, yeah, you're in chore. You also built that. You're also gonna go build. Can I queue? I cannot queue multiple things. That's that's dumb. I can't queue multiple things. That's ugh. Oh well. You have no orders. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go build another one. Another one. Another one. Why? Because I say so. No one can stop me. The Alien Justice Network. The faction screen gives an overview of the populace. There is what I wanted to say. Be aware that shifts in the social political climate may give rise to factions. Details on faction sizes, attractiveness to our pops, and how content they are can also be found here. Yep, this is what I want to see. Factions have issues that are important to their overall approval, and our policies and actions as a nation may displease or please these groupings, providing a increasing boost in influence. Influence generation. The strength of factions and the nature of their issues can be cha can change along with our circumstances, but keep in mind that the happiness of a pop can affect the approval of the faction it belongs to. We can also manage factions to manipulate the relationship between a faction and the state, even going so far as to embracing the, embracing the ethos of a strong faction. Cool. Okay, so 75% approval for this. 19 pop supporters out of what's the total populace? 28 that's a lot issues they have four issues one main one though anti-stratification letting any denizens of our empire live in a stratified economy will greatly displease the fool i don't know what that means your productive freedom of banning the use of selective population controls will use in free movement and anti-autocrat letting any denizen which I'm assuming is citizen, of our empire live in a stratified economy. I don't know what a strat- I don't even know what that means. Promote the faction. Promotes the policies and the values of the full enfranchisement network. And also make their ethics more attractive to our population as long as it is attractive. 
bringing them into the government. This will permanently change our governing ethics and displease all other factions in the Empire. Um, I'm going to promote them. Stop promoting. <laughs> yeah. uh, policies. Economics. Yeah, the, yeah, my economic policy is fine. I don't think much I can really do about it. Colony ship. Okay, so move on. Oh, Alpha Centauri. Hi, Alpha Centauri. Governor Wagner has become more experienced, but with the experience has come an increased stubbornness. The governor has become quite ob obdurate and is having difficulty accepting new ideas. Oh, that's cool. So experience is not solely just a good thing. It actually has consequences. That is a really cool concept. That, that really is a cool concept. Mm -hmm. So she's architectural interest, but now she's stubborn. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. So yeah, I can't colonize crap here. No, I can't. Nothing's colonizable here. It's kind of sad. It really is. But... Yep, nope, nope, nope. And fleet science, no. Nope. Yeah, can't build any mega structures. What are our mega structures works at? Carries. Construction complete. Okay, cool. Construction complete. Okay. I already need to pause it. Why? Because I say so. I'm just scrolling through all of them. I don't know why. There's no civilization here, but just in case there is. Okay, now we have another one of those bastards. I think it's probably all I'm going to need. Defense platform, Sufren class. Upgrading. Upgrade the star base. My production's horse crap. Anything else I can build? No? No. Okay, cool. I'm, like, so fascinated. You have, like, no idea. My empire borders are expanding nonetheless. Uh, are you working on these? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're the new one. The UNS Danube. Okay, got to the... Here, build the star base. Construction complete. No! My expansion! Yeah, so, okay. How... Does my income work here? So... System survey complete. It's building... So, you're building, right? Yeah, okay, you're building the research station. What about the actual, like, mining station I commissioned? Like, I, I don't know how that works. <sighs> so, I buy that. Oh, I can still sell it. Okay. I can sell it to myself. Yeah, okay, this is fully... Uh, can I... It's not claimed. Is this another restricted or... Oh, I can restrict... Oh my god, I can restrict systems to everything. Oh, so that's what they mean... Okay, so that's what the... That's what the faction was referring to by free travel. Because you can... I can... Have free travel and I can have restricted travel. I probably assume that in case... Probably for, like, systems are, like, contested or, like, really close to, like, hotspots. Or like hotspot systems, so you know they won't get shot down and everything. Construction complete. That is, this game is like so complex. I love it. And its science staff have begun their work. What secrets will they uncover? What forbidden mysteries of creation? 
<laughs> Fucking voice. <laughs> the voice is just amazing. It, it just makes it all the better. Okay. Okay. Like, I, I can't help but notice that our navy is a bit on the weak side. We yeah. are certain to face many threats in the galaxy and will require some form of military response. Situation log. Situation log. Contact there. screen. We see a detailed oh. list of all the various oh. empires we have encountered. Their opinions of us are visible at a glance, and we can quickly and easily engage in diplomacy. Uh. Okay. Cool. Precursors. The yacht. Capital World Survey. And date. It's 2214. Only 2214. Well, yes. Why? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I get minerals? Our advanced resources with military application, which we need to construct ships and services with. We can gain it by building alloy foundation buildings on the surface of these planets, or buying more for the market. Oh, so you can only get them from colonized planets. Gotcha. Okay, I thought he got them from the mines. Okay, that's good to know. So, the UNS Bengal, I'm going to send all the... Can I send them all the way down here? No, I can't. I can't build crap. I cannot build anything. It's infuriating. UNS Bengal, can I send you down here now? No, because it didn't fucking register. UNS Bengal. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, boy? C'est fin? I don't, I don't know what c'est fin. C'est fin? Short 3 is colonizable. Okay, well, I guess we'll go colonize Short. You, do you see anything wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. Anomaly found. Research it. I don't bloody care. I thought, yeah, you're the tomb world. Yeah, Short Prime. Short Prime, Godspeed. God spedding, good luck, you'll need it. Uh, Robston, you've been done a Robston for a while, haven't you? Yeah, okay. My bad. Uh, UNS Danub. Meanwhile, back on Seoul, I could turn. Oh, I can turn. Uh, well, yes, you're done with. You're done with everything here, right? Like you built all you could? Okay, cool. Uh, return. Yeah, return back to your home system. <sighs> okay. Because I want to make, yeah, research decisions. Yeah, I might as well work on... Research complete. I might as well work within the home system. Within Seoul. If I can't really do any more expansion for a bit. Automatic exploration. Oh, yes, please. Fusion. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Milthar 4. A sublight vessel is built by an unknown culture, and it appears to be several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear in it that some kind of object gone through, most likely a meteorite, or a meteoroid, which appears to have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering cho design choices. I'm going to go after fusion power. I 
How's our capital? Oh my god, I can build stuff. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Colony established. Yeah! Fosion Prime is now a colony. Resettle. Construction open. complete. There's law encourage population growth. Oh, you better we encourage population growth. You bet. Colonization in progress. Armies. Uh, give me a general. Restrained. Less credit. Uh, yeah, you're younger. You're a young boy. Only 32. System survey complete. The Mayfair system has been fully, fully uh, surveyed. Uh, yeah, go check some more around here. Okay, cool, cool. Soul of the US, UNS Danube. Can't obviously do that. Uh, yeah, let me actually go back to Seoul so I can go see what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, I can't do that. Construction uh, complete. What? You, you, you were assigned by just me doing that? Oh, oh, okay then. Uh, Ornico. Triton, first in the world. Uranus. Uranus, yay. Okay, meanwhile, back in Elmer. I build anything else here? Build any research? No, any observation on that? Okay, cool. Anomaly found. I'm receiving a weak signal from the surface of the planet. The source maybe appear to be some kind of tracking beam. Go for it. Go for it. Meanwhile, I'm going to go send you to Alpha Centauri. Bastard, get out down here. Alpha Centauri is not fully surveyed. No, I wouldn't. Oh, I think I may have enough for another base. You have a habitable planet, correct? I think so. I think there is a habitable planet within the system. Just maybe. Alpha Centauri is hab quite habitable. Stupidly habitable. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm saving my ships then. I'm saving my ships for when uh, Centauri gets fully habitable. Once Centauri is fully surveyed, I'll go after it. Uh, can I send the construction ship there in advance? Like, just just make it sit there so I can actually remember. Construction complete. Uh, back here in chore, I'm gonna go send E. You have anything? Of, I mean, you don't have anything of significant. Anomaly found. Sit here anyway. Well, I can stop. Because I kind of no one can really stop me. Construction complete. Uh, can I have any more mining anywhere else? A small short-range transmitter seems to be located on the surface of Alpha Centauri B2. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners here was m the miners it was meant for evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Five pops, okay, cool. Uh, how's chore again? Cool, cool. Construction complete. Cars historical technology. Planet Earth has finished its construction queue. Planetary features on habitable planets are sometimes blocked, preventing their exploitation. Clearing a blocked feature takes time and costs minerals or energy credits, but the free space often makes it worthwhile. Many block features require specific technologies before they can be removed, but the ones of our, our homeworld can be dealt with as soon as we have the credits to spare. 
uh, went back to our situation mode. So I increased the fleet. Built, built some Corvettes. There was some sort of an effect on this. Alright, cleared out though. There is evidence of the current climate on Tersona 4A is cause of a runaway greenhouse effect triggered by the massive amounts of pollution. The oceans have boiled away and the moon has permanently enclosed the dense cloud layer due to the thick atmosphere. Scattered ruins of the indigenous civilization can be found on the surface, suggesting an overpopulated culture that perished in the mid to late stages of an industrial age. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Commercial zones. Hollow theaters. Ponics farm, luxury residences, prismic houses. Research labs. Doesn't sound like a bad idea to go after. And decisions, I'm gonna encourage population growth. Luna, barren and rocky, where the thin to non existent atmosphere. The surface is covered in meteorite impacts and completely devoid of life. Okay. Okay, continue. Continue the game. Onwards. In progress or something. Okay, Alpha Satari is full. Okay. Perfect. Starbase, immediately. Okay, uh, go back to Sol. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna. The backspace was to get back. We quickly navigate to where our home system is located. I don't think the game really likes that. Okay. Doesn't seem to. Uh, give me another colony ship, will you? Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, where is the survey? Where's our other science ship? Yeah, you're done. Well, an asteroid falling on your planet can be a nerve wracking. Pirates and Prime has been rather fortunate. No farm has been. Alright, uh, issue special project asteroid defense system. Recent impact modifier can be added for 60 months given for long habitat. Luckily, the asteroid did not look, did no longer damage, but did deposit some useful minerals. Situation log updated. There's so many things about situation log that I'm just not bothering with. Uh, research. Any... Yeah. Put, put it out. Yeah, I can go finish it later. Suck it up, buttercup. Not this. Uh, make some Corvettes so the game can stop yelling at me about the fucking Corvettes. Get something done in my situation. Well, something of accomplishment. A sense of pride and accomplishment. I can't read that. I don't think I can build a thing here. Oh, yes, I can. Surprisingly. Yeah, the, uh, quite broke, though. I am a broke boy. Fastest. Yeah, we're not going that fast. We're going to go back on fast. Construction complete. Uh, there we go. Now, Satari. Perfect. You can go build mines to keep you occupied while you're at it. Until I wait for this to, you know, pop up. Construction complete. Strategic resource discovered. During its survey of, Hall of Hallisley 3, the UNS Columbus has discovered deposits of red crystals. These crystals have properties that make extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component in most advanced electronics. 
In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations and ad adornments. While we do not yet possess the means of extracting this resource, we should consider seriously, should consider seriously establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Alright. System survey complete. Cool. Waiting for that colony ship to be done at some point. Yeah. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, you can go. And you can go get this done. Construction complete. There we go. Uh, planet Earth construction. You flipped up. Okay, cool. I don't care a whole lot about that, to be honest. Or less worried about the expansion. We've, yeah, we're. System survey we're getting complete. We're good about a progress done. Nonetheless, which is good. Is there any anomalies? Any anomalies? Anomalies? No, anomalies. Alright, next system is gonna be that one. Construction complete. Yeah, you've been not done enough Centauri for quite a while, haven't you? Yeah, I don't think you have anything else to do. Send you orders to go survey this one. Astle has been fully surveyed. Yeah, cool. Here's Sonia. Survey. Survey, survey, survey. Uh, UNS Memphis. Alpha Centauri 3. Can I send it to Alpha Centauri 3, please? Arrival 260 days. It says I can go colonize it. It's like so good. There we go. Off Centauri Prime. A group of investigators have found a hidden factor in the Pyrosong Prime. The building and its, and its state of decay tells that of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would easily be able to use the facility to add a colony's production output. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Anomaly found. Atmospheric readings of Mizar 2A does not match simulated projections. Go research it. Right, the yeah. Good. We now have a small but capable space fleet that should serve us well in the event of any unexpected hostile encounters. Cool. Yeah, so we're getting, slowly getting stuff done in this situation. We'll... Click on the Show Planetary Features button on our Homeworld's Planet interface. Select the Blocked feature and then click Clear Blocker. Okay. So click what? Show the show planetary features. Show planetary features. I do not see that button. Definitely be blind. 
No reports of any problems have been issued from the old factory on Parision Prime. Seems like the colony will maintain the projected production estimates. Sprawling sums. Mesopotamia Urban Corridor. Colonization in progress. The Great Albertan Crater. System survey complete. Was. Immense ragged planes of ra a shadow drift across Zartu-A's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic materials drifting through the upper layer of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow a small degree of articulation. Science Officer Liu is yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, or what possible, whatever possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Clear blocker. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Lovely. Oh, so this is what the clear. So, yeah, definitely clear all those out then. At your convenience, Earth. Psella has been surveyed. Ceres has also been surveyed. Everyone gets a survey. You get a survey, and you get a survey. You all get surveys. Uh, Alpha Centauri. Any research stations that can be set up? No? Okay. No? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, how about we set up shop at Ceres? Yet another impediment to our galactic ambitions has been dealt with. That tile blocker never stood a chance. Colony established. That block feature is now ready to be exploited. Perfecto mundo. Oh, I can't build this cake. Cool. I'm going to go send you to Series A anyway. What's next on our expansion planner? Series 3, 95% colonizable. Jesus Christ, okay. I'm gonna send you to Mithar. Move here. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool option I could do. The more I know. You're at Series, you have nothing to do, so you can go. So this, this one. Celia. So that one. So it's almost done. So many things to do. Chort Prime. Chort Prime. Oh, Chort Prime is set up already. Nice. Just I'm normally found. Uh, significant scarring in the surface of the world, and the pattern cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rifts look like from writing. Okay. So we're still with one sector. <laughs> Surprisingly, so all four of these planets are under one sector. One big sector. Research complete. Well, it's been found. Yeah, okay. The sapient race has been reclaiming swampland for thousands of years. Coordinated system of modular aqueducts. Pump stations, chemical re uh, re yeah, remediation crawlers, and automated soil compactors can be re can reclaim land at pre compressed speeds. I cannot read. Did you know that? I sure didn't. Planetary unification. Someone used the biting laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing on the surface of Mizar Va, or Mizar 5A. The massive script covers. I'm just gonna say, well, that sounds a lot better. <laughs> the massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a, a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. <laughs> I'm surprised we're able to read that. Like that, that, that kind of fascinates me, to be honest. Construction complete. Did up to twelve a month. We did. We did fulfill that mandate. 
turn around, yeah. By up to plus 12, which we got, which we did accomplish, I don't know why. We... Maybe it'll accomplish by the end of the mandate, which is coming up soon, because elections are less than a year from now. Is he commanding the UNS Columbus? Okay, cool. As you should be. Doing, doing quite System well. System survey complete. Doing stupidly well. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, the Bengal Bernard Star. Oh. So. System survey complete. I need to learn the hotkeys. So let me get use them. Weak magnetic field. There's a lot of protection to magnetic radiation. Atmospheric aphrodisiac. Right. Something that in the air that this planet seems to put people in the mood to reproduce. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, okay, there's a right switch over there. I'm gonna move the, this one over to Bernard Star. Yeah, I can build them a Bernard Star, though. I kind of want to save my things, to be honest. Uh, Bernard Star, you have no borders. Okay. Survey. Uh, survey Cesar. Pythes. Survey. There we go. Sar has been elected president of the UN. Consult the situation along on details for their mandate. President's reigns come to an end with election campaigns. Yeah, now we don't have scientists for that. That's fucking a lot, Sherlock. Genius, yeah, you're We have discovered space faring alien entities that whoa, 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 but let's face it, probably are. <laughs> Their true nature will remain a mystery to us until we complete the appropriate project to investigate them. I suggest we do so post haste, lest they investigate us first. The United Nations has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmospheres on Earth following the report of our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. What a great start to your life. What a great start to being inaugurated. Evading hostile fleet. The UNS Armstrong has encountered a hostile alien fleet in the Troidum and is currently attempting to evade them. Evasive, passive, evasive. Uh, we'll rule until 2230. These are unknown spacefaring entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact by completing the appropriate special project. Investigate. Investigate immediately. If you need to get out of there, I will get you out of there. I'm not going to be sending my fleet. That is, that is way too far. But I will send my fleet over to Elamir. In case they get a little too close for comfort. Research complete. UNS Armstrong has successfully got that. That's quite the bit of firepower. Yeah, we do not have that firepower. Anomaly found. Fucking kidding me. What? How? Oh, and oh, because I never assigned her. That's why. Duh. Okay. Cool.
Research. Shipyards. One, two, three, four. I want five more ships. I demand five more ships. Infrastructure that survived the great nuclear war, which ruined Short Prime, has proved to be a great boon to our colonists. The alien civilization that once lived here built highways connecting their major population centers, and some of them are still in good enough condition to be used today. We have been able to recycle a large amount of the building materials from the many ruins of the landscape, further improving our colony's infrastructure. Nice. Nice, nice job, guys. Please be out standby. Assist in research. Assist in research. I'm not letting I'm not letting Armstrong go anywhere. Until further notice. Can you guys go on patrol? I, I, I found a patrol thing here somewhere. There we go. Maybe let them patrol and seize her. Just maybe, although they could sit there, that is entirely possible for hell to move away somewhere else. Okay. Let's see if we know where to go down there. Okay, let's continue the game. Really? It's 760. Well, let's wait for this to come in so we can get... Can you build it now? Well, I guess you're going to increase the star bait. Two! Why do you need two? You just said you're perfectly fine. There. There. For sake. Strength from small places. Having probed the frozen landscapes of the moon, Cedar 8, yeah, eight Cedar 8A, eight, eight. we have, we think we have struck something big. Science officer Lou speaks of a bacterial life form unlike any other. It bonds with other individuals to form large blankets that are durable yet light, and also act as like solar cells. They absorb solar energy at a surprisingly low efficiency loss percentage. Most likely as a result of evolution favoring those who could gather more heat in the harsh climate. Our research back home could surely find some use for this. Proof of energy protection. I love I, should, I actually should probably go for military use. This now military use is actually something that we need. Our energy development researchers have made progress in the samples sent for them from Cedars 8. They seem to be able to develop a new type of solar cell using the organisms as a template. These are much more efficient at storing energy and will provide boost to all power plants. Yay! Thank you guys. Very cool. So... Bernard Star is probably our next... ...step at expansion. Like 57, I hate how I have the amount to build this. But it won't let me until I get like a certain amount above that, which is kind of annoying. Construction complete. All right, that's a weird border. Okay. Give me a colony ship. You give me another System admiral survey. too. Complete. Aggressive. Eager. Impressive, yep. Once we get your Corvettes out, I'm gonna go switch places with you guys. Our attempts to establish communications stand testament to our technological ingenuity, but results are lacking. 
it is likely that the other party possesses only an animal level of intelligence, if any at all. Oh. There are reports of extraordinary free-floating crystal-like objects observed and certain systems have been investigated. The ship-sized objects and their sibilous or slightly smaller but equally crystal-like satellites at first appeared inert, but sudden shifts in their orientation relative to our ship and new energy signatures emerging from within the prisms indicate that they might be alive. A fascinating prospect to be sure, but they should be approached with caution. Our best and brightest are standing by to study these entities. Situation log updated. Crystalline study available. Put a halt. I don't want to halt physics yet. Sort of animal intelligence. So they're inferior to us intelligence wise. That's what it's saying. Correct or no? So you're building that, right? Okay, yeah, let's do the switch now. So, you go to Elamir, and you go back to Seoul. Yeah, you guys can switch places. That's why you guys are waiting. Let's go build a mine. Geological surveys conducted by our colonists on Short Prime have revealed a massive vault buried deep in the inside a mountain range. All evidence points towards being some kind of fallout shelter built by the same species that perished in a planet's ancient nuclear war. The vault has been sealed for many centuries, but our instruments have detected a faint power signature emanating from within. Our scientists are eager to open the vault and discover what lies behind. Crack the dang thing open! Oh yeah, crack it open. Decisions, courage. They have not encouraged, not been encouraging growth like I should be. Uh, Minther. Construction complete. Youth. Da, da, da. So limiting. My God. And go build another one series. A. Cool. It's interesting how Seoul is the only colony established. It's interesting how uh, Seoul is the only one that I, I can actually like build build stuff on like or build like ships and stuff from it's interesting there. automated shipyard while conducting their survey at cedar 1a the uns pyrethes has detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit it is at least a thousand years old a millennia old and seems to have been subjected to a heavy missile barrage one of the manufacturing bases still in working condition Science Officer Lou is confident that the power can be restored to the shipyard, but it would be a significant Situation project. log updated. Gotcha. Encourage. Construction complete. Okay, cool. Then you can build anything else here. Construction complete. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I can. Okay, uh, colony ship, the UNS Mozambique. Series Prime, go. ASAP. Meanwhile, Bernard Star. Bernard Star, maybe? Oh, so, oh Cedar is like so. Awfully diverse. Okay, let's uh 
Move the UNS Danube up to Cedar. Oh, you can do research projects on your own? If you could do that, that would be wonderful if you could. That would make my day. Can I make you build a thingy here? Yes, I can. Man, I gotta love expansion. I will eventually get Bernard's Star. But I want to get a star base down here so that I can eventually get my later goal of expanding down here. Uh, UNS Columbus, you can continue doing your shenanigans because you have not, unlike, you have not stumbled upon an alien species which has the possibility of killing us all. Yet. Oh my god. Everything has to be put on hold if I want to research that. Ugh. What do I uh, get the technology? Construction complete. What do I pull up technologies? Get planets and sectors. Alright. System survey complete. Yeah, after I get these done, I'm gonna have to go against like I have to go for the situation log ones. Special project complete. A combination of extra sturdy construction techniques and automated defenses should have, should keep the colony of Python Prime safe from further asteroid impacts. Okay, cool. So now, yeah, okay, you have about less than a year to f get that finished. Okay, yeah, get that finished. No problemo. Leaders. Governor Stackhouse is available. Oh, yeah. Um, it might be a good idea. I have not been doing this, but... Okay, so I have been reassigning. While conducting surface scans on CDR-6, Science Officer Liu and the crew of the UNS Pyrethes discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the situation. How the hell is it possible for you guys to translate text? Like, honestly, it baffles me. I'll switch you guys out, because I'm going to give uh, Stockhouse, Stackhouse her old uh, job back. Construction complete. Just got that then. Special project complete. Danube has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard that's over Sidar 1. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order, using what materials it had on hand to build an advanced frigate of unknown design. Unfortunately, the ancient facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent a crew to a new ship and pressed it into service in our fleet. Cool! Oh, that's cool! So we got a ship out of it. I don't know where I sent that ship though. Okay, up here. What's its fire? Only 150 firepower? Really? So yeah, yeah, would set your home base to Seoul. I'm gonna send you to this fleet though. The second, yeah, I'm gonna send you to the second fleet. The UNS Dark Wanderer, F-79 class. Uh, you can go survey this Colonization in progress. trinary. I did not know I could make my, uh, my comrades do stuff. Go to. Yeah, so I can go make the- if I can do that, then I'm gonna go make the- the Danube. Don't need a ship to research this project. Oh, it's research ships, not uh, those kinds of ships. Oh, okay. Anomaly found. Hard. I don't care. Uh, like if we're doing it in that case, then I can go. We don't need ships research. Okay. Research wait. complete. Go continue assisting research then. It's what. Okay, cool. Uh, do we have any ones I can... Yeah, yeah, you... There, this is your next thing to do. Okay, Cedar 6 is working on that. 
First line study is going to take up physics. Physics stuff is going to be done in about 28 months away. A little over two years. You're going to have to wait on that. Urbanizer. Two district, build two districts. District least. I don't know how to build districts, Sherlock. You're asking me, you're asking me this like I know it. Scandinavian Reclamation. Oh, that's how you build districts. Oh no, these are all the features. Okay. Uh, civilian Industries. Right, consumer goods. What's consumer goods for? Good for. It's an advanced resource of representing the various gadgets, luxuries, and goods necessary to keep your pups good in life and to perform intellectual jobs such as research. You can gain it by civilian industries, by more of the market. Cool. Uh, this looks important, so I'm going to go put it down. And build it. District. Uh, if I can put down any more districts. This don't look like I can make any more districts. The district details. Oh. Oh, is it really that simple? Oh. Uh... What kind of districts does you need? Just two districts? Okay, good. Okay, cool. Oh, that's how it works. Built. So, that's how I make districts. So, we're out of 14. You don't have any districts, Sherlock. I'm just gonna go. There we go. This does not seem like a place to where I can. No. You're taking up stuff. There we go. Okay, so at least at least they figured that stuff out, which is good. Sound Prime, Chort Prime, Alpha Centauri Prime. There we go. So, okay, so I'm glad I figured that stuff out. Cool. I don't know what it what it's exactly doing there. Planet build speed, fusion, missiles, uh, planet build speed. That'd be good to have. Uh, the society stuff's gonna be done in about three months, so then after that I can go... Is this one right? No, it's a physics project. That's so... No, oh, okay, I could actually assign it something else to do. Cool! Let's go to ship designs. Uh, kill some time and the learn. Ships in use within our empire are designed here. New hull sizes and components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. Cool. Uh, a Corvette. Research complete. Make a section. How, how the fuck do I do this? So if I do auto best. I don't know how this works. Select a section. Oh, this. Choose section. And an interceptor, a picket ship. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means, game. 
Intercept an interceptor, I guess. The re a reactor beast. I don't bloody know. I don't know bloody know what I want. This ship. A radar system sounds useful. Anomaly found. Last driver. I don't, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Okay. Okay. Kill the computer. Seems like it needs that much power, to be honest. Sure, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna call this Blitz and Prime. I don't, I don't know this game the name. Auto design takes control over upgrading and changing the ships. Can all make changes, but it's new design. Oh, screw this. I don't really have a choice in this. So, wait, 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 before I go back. So, this wants me to make sure. They are made of one... Orbits of the smallest type of warship, and they are made up of one single section, unlike larger vessels. Sections determine the amount of weapons and utility slots on the ship. Pick one, then start filling it up with the available slots and components. Make sure that the components do not exceed the power output of the reactor. A ship's power supply can help be in the negative. I'm going to keep things easy. Simply click on the autocomplete ship button and the game will finish the design for you. Auto design takes control of upgrading in the ships. I, yeah, I, I get that, but that's kind of what I wanted to do. I, I have no idea what the, What do you want from me, game? I don't bloody know what you want from me. The signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes that were dispatched to the, from the from the UNS pirate of the, 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 the to the surface to investigate the battle more closely. What sites officer Lou found was a cavernous vault that Previously pried open was evidently the last safe house of refuge of some long dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically uh, advanced, it seems they've never reached to the stars and perished in some planet wide natural disaster. The vault was immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes that the UNS Pyrethenes has determined to be a data storage devices. Special to decode the Situation contents. Log updated. Jesus, to decode the contents too. What do you want from me, game? Complete. I genuinely don't know what the game wants from me. Okay, here we go. Auto complete ship. Okay. Blitz and Prime. I... Good job. There. The ship design has been added to our database and can now be produced by a starbase that has been equipped with a shipyard. Cool. Speaking of shipyards. Uh, Mining stations are used to extract the minerals oh. and strategic resources of the object they orbit. Mining stations are not needed to access the resources of colonized planets, but they can be built within the, our borders. The remains of the Yacht Cruiser have been found in orbit around Tra Trab C3. I am not keeping track of any of this stuff, by the way. If you're lost in what of how I'm keeping track of this, don't worry, so am I. It seems to have fallen victim to weapons fire, but given the extreme age of the Hulk, it is difficult to be certain. There is no indication that the ship was ever equipped with an FTL drive. It must have been traveling between stars at some point. Situation light log update. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. Take years. Literally. 
Yeah, there's no shipyards here. Yeah, I'm wondering how... I improve... The, the thing easier. Like how do I how do I get the shipyard here? Construction complete. So I don't know how. Yeah, this is the station. Okay, here we go. Starbase, yeah. This module slot is currently available. Upgraded Starbase. Oh, okay. So I need to upgrade it. Gotcha. Okay, so there's be there's physics project. Okay, well, you need a physics project? Well, you get a physics project. Okay, and meanwhile. Uh, Alien Zoo. Ooh. Side of researchers to die by the first two research. Yeah, sure. Construction. Yeah, complete. but you're not going to be doing that. You're going to be working on that first. Yeah. I guess it's something for them to do. The mandate's been done, correct? Yes, okay. The habitable world survey is pretty close to getting done. Colony. As our empire ah, grows, new Jeez. colonies will automatically be organized into sectors. Sectors can be managed from the planets and sectors screen to automatically build and upgrade districts and buildings using assigned pools of minerals and energy. Uh huh. Can only support sixteen districts. complete. So wait, so we oh we now have two separate sectors. To administrate entire sectors, all planets within the sector will then benefit from the governor's skills. We should assign one to our new sector. Through hard work and experience, Governor Stackhouse has developed has developed new skills. Cool. How do I access my there, plant sectors? So that we have the series prime now has its own sector containing series prime. And so series prime is its own sector. Gotcha. Anomaly found. So yeah, Wagner gets gets her job back as governor, although of different province or the other sector, but yeah, oh well. System survey complete. Okay. Our new sector governor has assumed office on the sector's capital world. Well done. The capital world, yeah, I'm assuming is yeah, serious prime, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Construction complete. Throwing a bunch of random crap to do, I guess. Uh, the, the, the communications jammer. A target uplink computer, an advanced targeting computer that collects and analyzes data from all friendly sensor sources in the system. It makes it far easier for the starbase to achieve targeting solutions. Uh, restore large quantities of stuff. Can feed itself and even export excess amounts. Of This is the logistical burden of birth there. Base, so three. I'm not sure I'll add a marks, right? Anchorage. Fleet anchorages are necessary for the growth of the Navy. Missile battery. A trade hub. Trade hub, baby. At least. Hangar bay. Strike craft. And... Uh, I don't... Same. Two missile silos. There we go. They grow up so fast. It's beautiful. Short. Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is also going to get an upgrade. Series Prime. Series is Prime Alpha Base might be good. Okay. No Hardware President Saur has developed new skills as well. Warlike and adaptable. 
He did meet your mandate, so I believe you are going to be expected to win the election, correct? It's like, I kind of, I would like to have a president that lasts longer than a term. That would be great. Just saying. Yeah, presidents are only 53%. Sp well, he wins above the majority. We are losing energy credits each month, build additional generator districts, and we're prior to these jobs that introduce credits. Stackhouse wants re-election, but you're not going to get re-election. We are losing credits at an alarming rate. Last month's budget wow. report makes for some grim reading. Our common cause of budget uh, spiraling upkeep costs are a common cause of budget deficits. If this is the case, we may want to reconsider the Hispanic some ships, armies, and stations. We're not losing anything. We're, we're, we're perfectly fine where we are. We just need to... Well, I mean, we're not perfectly fine, but yeah, you know what I mean. Well, yeah, we should be fine if we let uh, time pass. This is we're building new districts and everything. Holding off on the research. I'm gonna be, yeah, assistant research. Yeah, we're gonna get, yeah, we're getting good progress. Research on that, so. complete. I'm, I'm just gonna make my ships assistant research. Can you guys merge with construction the... complete? Yeah, I watch you guys, you two, to merge. There. Construction complete. There we go. Act, good old acts of union. So short. Construction complete. Let's get to get a gun battery. And also a trade hub. Construction complete. Oh my god, so much construction. I don't think we need yeah, we're not to that point of getting of needing silos. Construction complete. Uh target uplink computer. Yeah, analyzes data from all friendly sensors in the system, makes it easier for starbases to achieve for the starbase to achieve target positions. I don't know what that means. Ship weapons range 50% exceeding star okay, so this makes targeting easier. As per our president's mandate, our planetary districts have been expanded. Okay, cool. So his mandate has been achieved. Oh no, we're losing one. Oh no, the humanity. Uh, Offworld trading companies? Yeah, that would be of the highest priority, please. Thank you. We have re-elected, yeah, we have re-elected President Sar. Good. Edix. Special project complete. Our scientific expedition has finally managed to open the vault of Chort Prime, but they have found nothing but ancient skeletal remains inside. It would have seen that the vault's original inhabitants ran out of food approximately 200 years ago. At which point, they turned on each other in some sort of cannibalistic frenzy. The scattered bones, many of them covered in gnaw marks, paint a grisly picture of the final moments that they experienced by the last survivors of this once proud civilization. On the bright side, the logs and data libraries inside the vault should be enough to keep our behavioral scientists and nanopsychologists busy for many years to come. That's good. Capacity overload. Policies. Special project complete. Oh boy. Crystalline entities, they have itself a compromise between rival factions of xenobiologists and xenogeologists on Earth, are most definitely alive. 
Some overly conservative members of the human academic elite argue that they are silicate animate matter and that they have little in common with biological life. The vast majority of the of the UN of the United Nations populace rejects that aggressive aggressive perspective, instead turning their eyes towards the fascinating new horizon that crystalline entities represent. They are somewhat regrettably solitary beings. Each individual crystal sovereign, rarely seen with more than one sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and the sentinel being clearly subversant to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuisances of the crystalline entity socio hierarchical relationships are lost on us, which does not stop these dynamics from being the subject of favorite study on Earth. The entities do not seem to mate. We have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to the early hypothesis, the shifts in the hue between individual crystalline entities seem to be related not to their age, but their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appears as if those sporadic fluctuations in the charge altered the refractive properties of the crystal. What are the military applications? Yeah, uh... I might want to go after that because I'm kind of running a deficit here. Wealth creation. Strict rationing, nutritional plentitude. Peaceful, aggressive. War philosophy. Yeah, I'm not gonna change any policies, no need. Super kids is a big deficit. What's a vassal? Oh. Create a vassal. What? Research time. Or, actually, can I get help for that? Like, use the help thing? No. Uh, oh. Oh! How convenient! <laughs> oh, how convenient! I don't even need to leave. I can just write here the wiki. Perfect. It's really handy, actually. Facile. As you can go along with me. Come along with me. A vassal. There are a number of types of subjects depending on the, uh, of the overlord's government. Most of them pay a certain tribute to the overlord. A vassal. No diplomatic autonomy joins with all the overlords. Wars cannot build new star bases unless the overlord has the Construction fuel. complete. Not corporate authority, less than 50%. Construction complete. Huh. A subsidiary. So a tributary, a vassal, a protectorate, a subsidiary, a satellite, a thrall, a signatory, a dominion, and a sapatry. If an empire switches its authority to the corporate, all vassals and protectors will become subsidiaries. Conversely, if an empire switches its authority away from corporate, all subsidiaries will become vassals or protectors. Hail's the difference. Gains a negative 80% research cost towards technologies researched by the Overlord. Less, At less than 50% difference, it becomes a vassal. Oh, plus 20% difference. Tributary. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Transfer resources to, oh, to Prime. Oh, so I can have trade within my sectors. That is utterly fascinating. It really is. I think now would be, can be a possibly good time to build. Why can we not build? The stars within someone else's board. Wait, what? Yeah, my borders, Sherlock. Whose other borders would it be within? This. Yeah, these. within someone else's borders. What? 
No, get it. Oh, maybe it's because it's already within. Oh yeah, there's no. Maybe there's no need for a star base then. Oh yeah, it's within my border. Oh yeah, because I don't need the star base there because the only point of the star base is to expand the borders. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Where are my construction comrades? Make an outpost there. Uh, Bernard's star, you can finally get its base thing, can it? No, yay, nay. No, it's lacking. Construction speed, complete. Speed stuff up. Construction complete. All the constructions getting completed. Okay. There we go. Oh, slowly but surely expanding. Slowly. Construction complete. Slowly but surely. Uh, anything else? Construction complete. Okay. Cool. Move down here then. Bernard Star. We can't get with a Bernard Star. Okay, cool. Uh, I wonder what uh, sector Bernard Star is going to fall under Earth or Sirius Prime. Be interesting. Oh, so I got, can I rename the sector? I'm, I'm seriously not going to have a sector. Through the claims interface, oh, we can I spend didn't mean to click that. To lay claim to star systems owned by others. Having a claim on a system gives us a valid casus belly against the owner, allowing us to declare war for the purpose of conquering it. Oh, cool. In wars involving multiple allies, the Empire with the highest claim on the system will be the one gaining ownership of the, upon the successful conclusion of the war. So Cassus Belly is a justification. Research for complete. War. So nothing to claim. The species screen lists all types of nominally intelligent beings we have encountered. We can toggle species to display only citizens of our empire or all known denizens of the galaxy. Oh, denizens are just general. General. Here we can access technologies uh, permitting, modifying the traits of the species, uplifting pre sapient creatures, and set default rights to all of our pops and sets. Oh. The species rights list allows us to customize the citizenship and living standards of a certain species, amongst other things. Holy hell. When customizing default rights, the rights apply to all pops that had that have not had specific species rights set, such as migrants, refugees, and other newcomers to the nation. No migration control. Control compensations allowed military and full military service. Living standards using contain academic privileges, social welfare. So as we improve the life and social for generous social policies. Basic conditions, utopian abundance. Would my upkeep increase? My upkeep will probably do well. Full citizenship. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Our free to become politically active species can produce leaders or residents. Our free but cannot engage politically, and the species cannot produce leaders. Slaves and undesirables. All pops of the species will be purged. That is fascinating. I can I can set specific rights. Oh my god. That sounds so brutal. It's so wrong. Yeah, I haven't really been paying attention to this in a bit. Uh, Governor Inc. Uh, domination, prosperity. Stop this. There. Adopt. I haven't been adopting in a while. I have not adopted stuff. Uh, 
habitability plus five percent. Interstellar fleet traditions. Coil gun. Fired exosuits. How's the situation, Lord? Uh, we get that done easy peasy. Done. 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 Check on. Check on. Creature. Uh, where is this? I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, 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 it's a trap. Oh, we'll go... Research the anomaly then. Investigate. Go bloody investigate it then. Yeah, there you go. Go bloody investigate it then, mate. You bastards. There we go, finally got Bernard's star underway. Let me get this underway too. No, of course not. Why? Because that's how game works. Maybe we can get Bernard's star underway here. And get that done. Can... Yeah. I'm going to go commission. I have no commission. Yeah. Commission two. Construction complete. After successfully translated their languages, we have established communications with the Royak destroyers. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Made first contact with an alien empire. Oh, These boy. fascinating beings appear to have mastered space flight, just as we have. We should strive to learn more about them. Their empire will now be listed on the contact screen. From there, you can initiate diplomatic contact with them. Fanatic purifiers, fanatic xenophobes. Can purge and enslave, decrease opinions of other species, cannot give aliens full citizenship, full military service, and cannot welcome refugees. They're also militarists. Lovely. Also independence, yeah, of course they are. We are delighted to meet you. We pursue true equality. Do not stand in our way. You can run away. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire throughout the United Nations. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings, and the media is full of reports and speculations of their culture and society. The revelations that we are not alone in this galaxy have largely been greeted with celebration on Earth. Just like us, the aliens appear to have to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage, and their level of technology is similar to ours. We have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Yerba system. A rift in the very fabric of safe time, space time has formed here, creating a wormhole that our scientists speculate may provide a conduit through subspace to another wormhole located somewhere else in our galaxy. Depending on where the second wormhole is located, it could potentially allow ships to travel from one end of the galaxy to another in a matter of days. Fortunate, unfortunately, this wormhole, like the vast majority of its kind, is inherently unstable. Any vessels foolish enough to pass through will be ripped apart in seconds. Could it be stabilized? Research complete. Strategic. Search. Okay, cool. Research complexes. Terror in their. Oh, this is their territory. Oh, boy, that is a big empire. It is best to assert our claims now? Okay. Can we get this built? Get that built now. Bernard Star. Okay, okay. Bernard Star King. You have everything built. I believe. So I'm going to go move you to the trap system. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I would like that system cut them off right there. So then I can have all of this to myself. Construction. I'm not sure if I want open borders anymore. Then. The borders of our empire represent our very grasp of galaxy itself. We must decide if they are to be open or welcome to ensure that the galaxy is decided. Can I have, like, in the middle, though? Because I don't want them completely open. Oh, these are the Tam system. The Tam system is going to be... The Tam and Trab are going to be quite the hot spots, I predict. 
Oh, that's where the... Oh, this, okay, that's where the Yerba is. Which one of these is our home system? Negative 1,000. Relative so power complete. equivalent. They have closed our borders with us. Okay, so right, yeah, it is right, but it's interesting. A lone proud combat soars through the solar system, clearly visible to Earth. It forges its own path through the cosmos, vibrant and ascending. This is the ideal which all humans strive for. It is good, oh man. Communicate. The diplomacy screen is where we communicate with other civilizations. Here we can declare war, form alliances, and implement trade deals with our neighbors, amongst other things. High Executioner. Far of a commercial and non aggression pact. They can barely do anything. They can declare a war, declare a rivalry, close the borders, and it, or insult them. It's literally fucking it. They don't want to communicate. Hostile. I fear that if I close my borders with them, they're gonna get pissed off. I do not want to cause a war. If I cause a war, I may be done for. Wait, what is this? Sierra de la Plata. Oh, yeah, okay, good. This is done. Colonize. Uh, Sierra de la Plata. Save it. Save that other one. Build a build one right there. Send this fleet here and patrol. I will be asserting my dominance. If you have not noticed, my so my goal is. My goal is, there we go, I want to expand my borders here, so then I can cut them off right here. That's my thinking. So then I can have all of this, and isolate them right here, so then I can just go have this, and I can have all of this. Colonization in progress. So, uh, where's the colony ship? Where's the planet in here that has like a stupidly good chance of being colonized? They're stupidly good. For whomians. Colonize with the UNS Canada. I'm just gonna call it Canada. Why? Because I say so. And no one else can say otherwise. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm gonna go build. What are I here? Okay, we're up to the 2040s here. It's almost the end of his term. It's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, can you build mining stations? Oh, you can build research stations here too. Yes, please. Yes, so please. -o. So, in the meanwhile of our expansion, we also need to be wary of this. I need to be wary of that. Encourage growth, planetary features. Planetary resurfacing, mm -hmm. damn it. So, what's the status on Bernard's star, then? Bernard's star, yeah, has that stuff. Oh, yeah, okay, so I just need to get that done. Now I'm gonna go move with the Parsacs, so I can get that stuff done. How are we doing here? 
patrolling? Well, yeah, now you're patrolling. So you transfer upgrade. Fleet. Construction complete. I think that's a small price to pay. Right, okay, you guys need to go all the way back to home so I can go upgrade. Yes, I want my best fleet there. Okay, what, what can you guys build? You guys can build the ungodly amount of mines. That's for sure. Uh, okay, yeah, you can. Yeah, you're building all sorts of stuff. Yeah, more mines. I didn't want it to go there, but yeah, I want it to go. Yeah, then select this fleet. There. there, to stay within your respective thingies. Are both of our science ships okay? Cool. Construction complete. automatically explore the galaxy. There you go. UNS Columbus, the UNS Canada. Anomaly found. Uh, signs of activity by an ancient precursor uh, civilization on this asteroid. Go. Okay. Uh, the Bengal. By U.S. Bank. Uh, can I make you go over here? Yay or nay? Yay. Coolio. Uh, Series Prime, do you actually have anything else to do with your time? No, okay, we'll go. I guess you can go down here then. Yeah, we're building Starbase Outpost. Oh, our expansion. Oh, yeah, we're expanding. We are definitely expand. I will definitely expand down south here soon. What I want to do is definitely build another construction ship. Oh man, I'm having, I'm having so much fun. I really am. I don't. I don't know. I honestly don't know whether I want. I, I feel like I should end the stream because of how long, like, because, you know, this is going for long periods of time, but I'm not sure if I want to end it. I'm not sure if I want to end it. I definitely, uh, seems to, yeah, because this, uh, Stellaris is definitely one of those games that you need to, like, stream large for long periods of time so they can get, like, good amount of work done, because we started this. We're already on a fourth turn. Like, we have gone through three presidents. That this president is now going to be re-elected, possibly for the third term. Construction complete. We've expanded. We've gotten first contact. We've researched. We've done all sorts of crap. Making great. The UNS Pacific. Okay, the UNS Pacific. Uh, your first task. Move here. I'm definitely gonna need to like rapid expansion. Definitely, yeah, because now my expansion is like even more incentivized now because now I I'm competing against someone else now, and I want to like attempt to isolate them, attempt to isolate them and everything. Construction uh, complete. I don't know. I'm gonna try to give Max out uh, these systems as well. Yeah, definitely at least attempt to. Construction complete. There, I want to max out these systems as uh, uh, districts. Not that. This. Oh wait, yeah, you're not uh, colonized yet. Construction 
construction complete. You guys doing well and in the colonizing department? Fucking hope so. Firepower. The firepower of this is only 382. Research complete. That's terrible. To the 3,000 that we found there. This design can be upgraded. We'll upgrade the design then. Overwrite the design. Of course, over, of course. Upgrade the fleet. Uh, you can go there, go make some mining stations or something, I guess. Consumer goods is not doing very hot. Uh, what can we do to counter this? Colonization in progress. Colonization, of course. No. What was it? The commercial? No, it was the civilian industry. Yeah. Okay, well. Okay. Well, before I get incredibly addicted to this game, I'm going to have to leave the game here. Definitely going to stream this more. I'm definitely going to see if I can... Maybe stream this for longer. Maybe get have a time that's a little more longer. Maybe start maybe start the stream a bit earlier so then I can go on for longer. So maybe we can go I can go at this for maybe like three, four hours. Yeah, this, this game is stupidly fun. No, starbase capacity. No. Okay, but yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I need sleep. Jesus Christ, it's one in the morning now. And I started at about 10. Yeah, it started about 10. Construction complete. Elections are underway. Uh, Saucer is gonna win the election again. Five oh, he's a fucking mad lad. Well, I'm gonna leave the stream here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching, make sure you hit that little heart down below. We can go watch every single. Yeah, we can go watch uh, down below. So I play other games other than Solaris. This is the pilot the stream for Solaris after all. We go down to the YouTube channel where you can watch every single stream. Every single stream uh, gets archived down there, including this one you're watching right now. And you can go down to the Discord server, you can go chat with people, you can go to such as games which you may or may not play. And last but not least, you can go down to the test page where you can go spend your points just by watching the stream, you can go spend your points. Uh, next stream will hopefully be uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern time, hopefully. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! Man, this game, this game is so much fucking fun. It's... Okay, cool. Yeah, they won the election. Wow, I'm so surprised. Despite the learning curve of this game, it's so much fun. So much fun.